Welcome to The Pitch. I'm Sarah Allen and today I'm joined by Aaron Binstead from Azad Asset Management. Today we're going to talk about why he thinks the best days for Australian banks may be behind us. Aaron, welcome. Thanks, Sarah. So Australian banks have traditionally been a stalwart of Australian portfolios. Is the time for those blockbuster profits and dividends behind us? So we think that they will remain a large part of the earnings base and dividend base of the Australian market for some time. However, when you go back and look at the history, we don't think that they're necessarily a great way to source income growth. Over the last decade as a sector, it's given you no, and I'm talking about the big four here, it's given you no dividend per share growth over a decade. And even the star of that group, CBA, has not kept up with inflation. So while they can have a role, we think you want to be very different in terms of your weight for the banks. Um, unless your goal is to track the index, which is not what we're trying to do, we think there's much better places to source that income growth for the future. What does the changing fortunes of the bank mean for the broader economy? So I don't actually think the economic impacts are that high necessarily. You know, we know that returns for the banking system um, have been coming down over time through competition and regulation, but it's the more traditional things. It's your GDP growth, your interest rates, your inflation, you know, affordability crisis and the like that we think can be much more material for the economy. Um, we think the banks are going to be relatively stable, relatively low growth, and to be honest, relatively unexciting. On that note, is it time to sell the Australian banks or would you continue to hold them? Look, they are looking uh, very punchy in terms of historic valuation metrics, both relative to their own history and relative to offshore peers, at a time when, as I mentioned, their returns are significantly lower than they have been historically. So we think that this is a time to be, at a minimum, very underweight. There will be a time when you want to own more of them, but that time is not now in our view. You currently are underweight financials in your portfolio. Where do you see the key financials opportunities? So we much prefer the insurers and I can kind of contrast um, that with what I mentioned about banks. No div dividend per share growth um, over a decade. The ones we really like are just the, the common big ones. So Suncorp, IAG and QBE. We've had three years of earnings upgrades for those three stocks. Um, that should, we think that earnings momentum is going to continue in the near term. Um, IAG and Suncorp, the more premium domestic GI players, um, they are on valuation ratios similar, to, broadly similar to the banks, much better earnings outlook. QBE also has strong earnings momentum, trades at big, big discounts. So we think that is a much better proposition relative to the big four banks. Thank you so much for sharing your insights today. No problem, Sarah. If you've enjoyed this interview, please subscribe to Livewire Markets. Thank you for watching.